Hey everybody, how's it going? Yesterday I discussed a concept called the 10-year phone. The page was obviously a meme, it included a review from Tim Apple, but they, they did bring up some interesting points, some I agreed with, some I disagreed with. One of them was part serialization. Part serialization means that when you replace a part in your device, even if it is an original OEM part, it won't work properly unless that serial number matches the serial number of the part that was initially installed in the device, or it won't work until you use a manufacturer authorized tool to pair it. So even if you do get hold of an OEM part, it's not going to work in that device unless you have the blessing of the manufacturer. Obviously, this is bad for people who want to fix their own device because if, even if they manage to find a scrap part somewhere or buy one, it won't work. And it's bad for independent repair because it means that we can no longer perform those repairs without dealing with uh, hefty workarounds. Now, on that video, there was a comment, and I wanted to read it to you along with my reply. It says... From the perspective of a guy who had his phone stolen thrice, knowing that the stolen phone is just going to end up as parts for other phones and unscrupulous repair shops that charge a full price for these stolen parts and the probability of getting your phone stolen is higher than it stopped working, I don't find the idea of pairing parts that unreasonable. We are living in a world which has only enforced morals. The pairing of parts is more than one of those enforced ideals. So he is actually for this because he's had his phone stolen before. He, since he's had his phone stolen, he's for them not being fixable in the future. So my reply is this. I had my phone stolen, so millions of people around the world should not have the freedom to fix their own property. What a self-centered argument. Some repair shop out there charge people what I consider to be too much money for a repair. Therefore, no repair shop in the world should be able to repair a device for any customer, regardless of the prices they intend to charge. Sometimes I wonder if the reason we don't have freedom is because we take it away from ourselves. We talk a big game on how greedy companies, CEOs, and bean counters take away our freedom so they can make more money. But perhaps the toughest red pill to swallow is that we advocate against their own freedom better than they ever could. Firstly, the only reason that any repair shop buys these parts from eBay or AliExpress, where said parts have a questionable history, is because we cannot buy them from the manufacturer in the first place. Why do you think there is a demand for these parts? Secondly, pairing will do nothing but aggravate low-end users. People are already swapping chips between screens and batteries, so the phone does not give a message about the screen or battery not being genuine after replacing it. Skilled repair shops are already getting around this. The restrictions you advocate for that will affect millions upon millions of people because of you, just because you had a bad experience will be defeated. It's just a question of time. Thirdly, do you really believe the type of human being that will pickpocket someone on the subway or stick them up on the street has done their research on what devices engage in part serialization prior to robbing you? Are they googling the model numbers after mugging you rather than just running away? Are they x-raying your pocket to see what phone you have, or are they just grabbing whatever they can and running away? In what world do you honestly believe a pickpocket is going to stop mid-robbery and say to himself, shit, I thought this was an iPhone 8 I was stealing from you. You have an iPhone 13. The parts in the motherboard, the charge port, the flex cables are useful, but I really intended to sell the screen from this. Never mind, have it back. Fourthly, you claim that you are more likely to have something stolen than to have it stop working. Lithium ion batteries have a finite lifespan. So unless you are assuming that 100% of the world will have their devices stolen from them, that is wrong. This is delusional. It is delusional. Because one person had something stolen from them. Everybody across America should not be allowed to do their own repairs on their own device because one person had something stolen from them. Now, you may think that this is a fringe opinion. You may think that this is a troll. I assure you it's not. I actually spend time on areas of the internet where people intensely disagree with me. I'll spend time on Tesla subreddits. I'll spend time on the Apple subreddit. And it's not just to throw shade and insults. If you look through my Reddit post history, which I'll include below, you can see that I'll actually spend time engaging with people's points, even if they intensely disagree with me. Because every now and then, A, I learn something. B, I get a convert. And even if I only get one out of 100 people I engage with as a convert, it is worth it to me. But this is actually an opinion that's growing in size. That because there may be somebody out there that may steal a device, we need to make devices that are unrepairable. People believe this. They, they do. They, they believe this in ever-growing numbers. And I think 
the most interesting thing here is that I don't really see Apple or these companies giving press releases saying that this is being done to deter theft. I don't see them advertising this as an anti-theft thing. So it's not even coming from the manufacturer. It's coming from people. And it makes me wonder, how much of the freedom that we lose is because of an evil company, an evil CEO, or an evil politician versus just us? You know, I remember last year, about a year and a half ago, when uh, the COVID thing started, I remember, you know, at my store, I had everybody wearing masks. If people lived with people that were immunocompromised, they let them stay home with full pay. These were, you know, basic measures that I thought were things that weren't really that difficult to take. But there was one piece that I remember intensely disagreeing with. It was when de Blasio put up this uh, tip line site where you could text message a picture if people weren't properly socially distancing. The rule was six feet. So if you saw people that were five and a half feet apart, you could send a picture of them to a tip line so that the police can go after them. And I, I don't even want to think about what the intentions were with, with, with this garbage. But I remember looking at this and thinking, okay, you know, the, the mass social distancing, having people that are immunocompromised stay home and pay. Okay, you know, this stuff makes sense. Taking pictures of your neighbors or taking pictures of people on the street to submit it to the authorities because they're five feet apart instead of six? Like, really? Okay, that's a bridge too far. And I thought, I really thought this was just something where you had tyrannical politicians trying to do something that was a bridge too far. And then I started reading the user comments. Then I started reading the tweets that were posted under it. And I realized that it wasn't my thought that it's just, quote, an evil politician or, you know, a, a control-hungry CEO or something like that. But it was actual people that were advocating for these measures. It was people that supported us, that supported them, which really does beg the question for me, how much of the freedom that we lose did we actually deserve to lose? Did we earn it through creating these types of arguments in support of a particular ideology or goal. There are people out there that actually think it's a good idea that you not be able to repair your own property because it may deter theft. Because the thief, the pickpocket, the kind of person that walks down the street with a baseball bat breaking every single car window is the type of person that is going to do their research on what devices have serialization and what don't before they pickpocket you. They're going to walk up to you and say, excuse me, sir, do you have an iPhone that takes part in serialization or do you have an iPhone 5? I have an iPhone 5. And they take it. Or do you think they're just going to pickpocket you and run away? I really wish this was a troll. I know what you guys are going to say. You're going to say this post in this last video I did in the, you know, the 10-year phone that this guy is trolling. I assure you he's not. This is slowly becoming a majority opinion. When you look at subforums or Samsung subforums or Apple subforums, you'll see that some of the most top voted comments on threads discussing these issues are people saying, I support this because it will deter theft. They believe this. Mr. Clinton can't even awaken himself for a comment at this point. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think that this is a good thing? Do you think this will deter theft? Or do you think that this is just another excuse to make it more difficult for you to be able to repair your own device so that it's a little bit more convenient for you to just go back to the manufacturer and pay them? Or, you know, do what you're supposed to do. Buy a new one. Let me know. Comments down below. See you in the next video. Bye now.